what's up everybody my name is trophy at the babbling bells and welcome back to throne breaker the witcher tales we're still in the swamps of angren just trudging along trying to find a way towards tuzla castle to get to count caldwell to exact some revenge uh there's some bits we can actually go through some not but last time we killed a water hack in the swamp and got a bit of loot from her but uh for now it seems like there's not much else here I have enough resources to actually do something, but uh, to make some upgrades, I feel like I should hold off on that. Just because, you know, I want to have some resources if anything happens. There's two druids. Oh, we had to get do. So get do is the druid circle, so broken circle. For no visible reason, the Lyrian column came to a halt. Meave stood in her stirrups in a bid to see the cause. Something had blocked the way, it seemed. Something large. A tree felled by a storm, or an abandoned wagon, the Queen thought. Neither was true. A boulder, huge as a bar, lay in their path. Footmen had slung ropes around it, planted their feet, and now sought to pull it aside. It did not budge an inch. Perhaps I could assist you. Meave turned in her saddle on hearing the voice. Several travelers in faded robes warily crept from the trees. A young woman with long, light-colored hair led the way. You don't much resemble a rock troll, said the queen, eyeing the slender stranger skeptically. But go on, do try. The fair-haired lass crouched beside the stone, closed her eyes, and began to whisper. Horses yelled and tugged at their reins. A hound howled in the distance. And then the boulder rolled to the side like an apple crossed the deck of a boat rocked by seas. Who are you? Do tell. A druid. Came her calm response. This stone. It stood in our circle. The woman silently turned toward the wood. Me followed her gaze, and among the trees saw other large stones, cracked and scorched. What happened here? We refused the Nilfgaardian's aid. Answered the druid. So they raised our shrines. Though, perhaps it's a blessing. A blessing? How so? A darkness fell upon Angren a time past. And it grows. The forest turns savage, its creatures drunk on blood. Folk have come to worship other cruel gods. It's time we abandoned this land forsaken and went south to Ked Merkvid. So that is cool as well, because of course in the books, the Druid Circle of Ked 2 is one of the destinations for Geralt and his group. But by the time they get there, the circle, the Druid Circle, has been raised to the ground by the Nilf Guardians, and the Druids have fled to get Merkfit. So that is actually fitting. So join us if you wish. Our path leads south too, though not as far, said the Queen. Do join us. Given the times, there's safety in numbers. The Druids agreed and were grateful. They walked at the rear of the column, muttering prayers, their faces concealed beneath hoods. So there we go. We got a bit of a druid companion. There's also these weird... That's a weird stone. It looks like it has paw prints on the stone, but... Okay. The circle. Moving on. It's like... What's this? Looks like a, a, co a cog. Hmm. Weird. And then the rain starts to pour down. So, there's this thing. Proclamation. This is a logging zone. Any attempt to impede operations will be treated as sabotage, thus subject to punishment of the highest order. Count Caldwell, steward of Angren by Imperial Decree. Interesting. So if this is the red timber posts... That... Ooh, yes. So there we have the river as well. So I'm just gonna... Yeah, I wanna head there first. Just because I, I know what happens in the books and I'm really curious to see what they're gonna do here. It's because the, the timber post is... Well, I'm not gonna spoil anything. Let's just check that out. So through the magic of editing, we magically appeared at the timber port, the lumberjack camp. Let's check this out. Angren lies thousands of leagues from the sea. Yet the Imperial fleet looked chiefly to this land for wood, its ashes and oaks ideal for shipbuilding. The lumber was driven down the Yoruga to shipyards in Sintra and Atra. There, 
Day and night, Nilfgaard's fleet grew and grew. So when Meave heard axes steadily hacking, the continual grind of saws, she halted her force and quickly dispatched scouts. Indeed, they found a lumber camp, banners overhead, the great sun blazing upon them. Though not critical to her mission, Meave was nonetheless tempted to disrupt the invader however she could. So, uh, attack the camp. The Emperor awaits a mass flow of logs, called the Queen, drawing her sword. But we shall send him corpses! Formation! Follow me! When the Lyrians rushed forth with a cry on their lips, the lumberjacks dropped their axes. Their black-clad guards, though likewise surprised, formed up and stood ready for battle. There we go. So it's interesting how they, the Nilfgaardians actually did that. So they put up lumberjack camps near the river, just cut down the trees and put the, the wood in the water, which flowed towards their own camps across the Yoruga, which is interesting. So and Granny Gold, the Nilfgaardian coastline extended thousands of miles, so it came as no wonder that the Black Lads had an insatiable appetite for the lumber of sycamores and Jews. In order to defend such an expanse from Skelligan pirates, the Emperor needed to maintain a truly massive fleet, its ships numbering in the hundreds. Such an immense armada, however, came at a high price, costing the Empire nearly half its treasury. Short in battle against Nilfgaardian soldiers, so uh, let's get smacking. Larvan! Esetu Navin! Lyriad! Hello! Hello, Nilfgaardian man! So let's check that out. The Guardian champion damage an enemy by the number of your allied units. And we have one already over here. The Guardian Braveheart. For every two units destroyed, boost self by six and damage all enemy units by two. Okay. We need to destroy that as quickly as possible. So Regiment Drummer. Again and again and again. And another Regiment Drummer if we can get it out of here. There we go. Life is mine now. Damage an enemy by two whenever an ally appears, gain a charge. And he just damages me by two, okay. So let's put the Wagenberg on. Use the drummer to get a drummer. Now and a hidden onager. Which will allow us to damage this little guardian Braveheart. Don't know why he has a timer of three on his unit, but there we go. So they're gonna get charges every time, but of course, if I play this right, oh, there goes the Wagenberg. And there we go. Okay. We don't lose anything. Gold is not yours to plunder. Be gone. But of course, it's a bit sad that it happens like that. But Meave. Do I have a loyal unit over here somewhere? No. So might as well just go for Alzu Stunder. On to these guys. Then check out Meave to pull. Um, hmm. Double fire might actually be cool. And I have ways of getting me more charges. So let's just do that. Let's get two bombers on the field. This could One hurt. on the back. And one on Watch the front. <laughs> there we go. We can also use the Rivian Onager again. And damage the Braveheart in front. And there we go. They all get damaged by two. Because the chances are increased. Because of our upgrades lately. Frame rate on the fire is dropping a bit. But... Okay. All of them are damaged. Ooh, the Onager. Yeah, just died. Great, great, great. Jackass. And there we go. Make mistake, buddy. Oh, and per two. Ooh. What? Stop! Jesus Christ. Okay. That's a problem. So the Braveheart keeps doing that for any unit destroyed. Ooh, that's annoying. Um. Let's see what trinket we can create with Barnabas. Although I should probably use Rainer first to just we must trust get a few each more other. units on the on the field. We get a forager, but that of course destroys units as well. So I could put him over here and then use him, but 
Not just yet. So let's end the turn. More slave infantry units. Ooh, yeah. Okay, so that's why the timing is there. So let's create a trinket. Play a bronze unit from each deck, return an ally from the battlefield to hand, or draw two units and set their power to one. I'm gonna return um, the war wagon to hand, I think. Because that would give us... Yeah, let's just get the war wagon back. So those are all damaged, and we lose another unit, which means that that guy gets boosted again. Damn, that is annoying. Ah, oh, um, you know what? Fuck it. Let's put another war wagon Dying down. Hungry like a wolf Use the forager to destroy one of them and both of them. So that's gonna trigger that guy again, but triggering my two things as well. Damaging it. Ooh, yeah, no, this is. Ooh, this is bad. This is bad. <laughs> that thing is just ravaging the battlefield. Um. I can't destroy anything, because otherwise Isbel could fix this. If, if, if Isbel survives the onslaught, let's just put Isbel down. Make love, and not then the turn. War. So it's at 101 already. Back in line! Oh, that is not good. That is not good. Ow. And that's two units again. Uh, yeah. Okay. Sorry for the scream there, but there we go. Destroy everything. And then... Just play two trinkets. Golden Throt. And... Pick a card to resurrect, probably. Pick multiple cards. There we go. Left. Right. And there we go. Left. Right. Okay. So the Braveheart is down. Which is good. And they're all going down, of course, because the battlefield is still on fire. Uh, gotta wait a bit with Northern Wind, because Northern Wind will finish this off greatly, aside from the fact that Egg is at 120 already. But let's use the Regiment Drummer to pull something out. The Hajduk, which gives us two more charges. Left, right, left. Uh, so let's do that now? again. Ever, ever storm, knock out uh, we can save face. that charge until later on. Then give two more charges to, Getting to work. that strongest drummer, I suppose. There we go. And end the third. So we're gonna finish this in style, of course. There we go. Kill all the slave infantry units. Because of course those Woo! represent the uh, the the guys that were working in the lumberyard, so they're being forced to fight against us as well. But yeah, I don't think they will survive this. Uh, so if we use Meave to get, uh, yeah, just get the forager up, and we can put the forager in between these guys. If the ring won't come off, just and do this. Finger. Back, back. Dan could just use the drummer again. Gonna need damage that slave driver once. And let's just put the egg on there as well. 120! And this way, all those units are damaged. So we might as well destroy them all with Northern Wind. Move the lowest enemy next to this unit and lock it. So that means we can actually just kill that entire... Ah... <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, they're all just dying anyway. <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye. Uh, yeah, we, we could... We could play this, but it's just... Yeah, Lee and Hush took fair enough. <laughs> Not going into the spray already, and then we got the Aratusa Adept, which will do nothing at all. Let's just do that. And the Forager, let's just do that. Ah, yeah, that's it. Goodbye. Goodbye, Nilf Guardians. That was nice. The entire battlefield in flames. 
I totally if enjoyed that. Ranks folded, soldiers fled in fright, stumbling over felled trees and corpses. The air was heavy with the scent of resin and blood. As she caught her breath, the queen looked about. Hundreds of trees lay cut down in rows. Oak and ash enough to keep the shipyards working till winter. Neve ordered the lumber requisitioned, yet one of the loggers approached her. A man with a face like old leather, sawdust in his hair. Good lady, I know you war hard against Nilfgaard. I know you'd keep timber out of their hands, but then see, we won't get paid. We'll see no coin till Sintra's shipyard see lumber. It's what the black lad said. I beg you, have mercy. We're simple folk. Been slaving since spring, got families to feed. And hunger looms ever close in wartime. God damn it. Um, no, we can actually pay for it. So leave the lumber to be driven west to the ports, requisition the wood. We're definitely not going to do the first thing, but we'll pay for the wood. We'll pay for the wood. Neve looked at the logger's hands. Thick scars, crisscrossed fingers twisted by years of axe work. This wood I cannot allow to reach Nilfgaardian shipyards. She said. Yet neither can I let you go hungry. And there we go, we're all up as well. From my own purse. There we go. And we got quite a bit of wood for that. I missed the count, but I think it was 500 that we got from that. Uh, we can just gather that around as well. Blisters. There's multiple people we can talk to here. Never ends, I tell you. We'll never finish this blasted work. Work, work, work. And do I see anything from it? Even a measly bloody crumb. Got blisters on my hands. Okay. Those. So nothing there. We can just carry this around and carry that. We almost got our. We pretty much got our coin back already. Let's talk to this old man. You've a big heart, my lady. Not many folk like you, especially not in Angren. <laughs> a land big deviled in many ways. You've a big heart. Okay, so that's lady. just that. Just a bit of tanks from the man, and I think that means we can actually move forward. I'm just gonna check the tents because sometimes there's stuff inside of the tents as well. Like oh. And there's more stuff over here at the water. Nothing at the tents, and we can actually cross the water either. So, uh, moving out of the camp towards the west. Because there were a few more things that we could check out over here. So, there's an elf guardian at the pier here. Ooh, what's he all about? Your Majesty, look what the scouts have found. An elf guardian hiding in the shadow of a bridge. He looks like death, spotted head to toe in sores and scabs. He claims he deserted a week ago and is looking for a boat to sail south back home. What shall we do with him? <laughs> what do you think? Tie a stone to his feet and toss him in the river. Yeah, because we don't have anything else. It's just bad morale or bad morale and one dude. So yeah, toss him in the river. <laughs> oh, that's going to have consequences, isn't it? So, Nilf Guardian floating down the river and then we have... What the hell is this? There's a guy sleeping here, but... Oh, a cursed land. Before Meave arrived in Angren, her only knowledge of the land came from the songs of the troubadours who frequented her castle. Supposedly it was a land cursed by the gods, where evil lurked at every turn. At times, it seemed the poets aimed to exaggerate for effect. Now, on the verge of her next clash with the Swamp Beast, standing waist deep in a putrid bog, she understood there was truth to their every word. Stand a battle, so we'll be here for a while. So let's put a pitfall trap down to start, to avoid a bit of damage as well. So there we go, rain on every hill. Fair enough. Again and again. So what can the all the ghoul the all ghoul do? Consume the top units. Oh, so the feeder they've added that to uh, Quent as well recently. Consume the top unit in your graveyard and spawn a base copy of it. Fair enough, we've seen that before. Then we can pull the drummer. Do we get any benefits of doing something else first? No. So let's just pull the drummer. Uh, put him next to it, and then the other two are adapted to the like and double up on the amount of drummers we can have. Then we should probably use the Rivian Onager 
in between the drummers. And damage something with it. Might as well spread out the damage already. Oh! The feeder just took my drumming. After one turn on turn start, if there is a unit on the opposite row. Oh. That is not good. Because I don't think I can destroy it. Not just yet, anyway. But I can with Northern Wind. I can with Northern Wind. There we go. Oh, we just have not enough. God damn it. Yeah, he's gonna take. Yeah, destroy the one with the highest power and south. God damn it. So, let's put another drummer up front so we have one in the next turn. And then damage. Yeah, we're not gonna damage anything because he's gonna take my unit. There we go. We did get another charge on the onager that way. Have the power of three adjacent units. We're not gonna do that. We won't allow that. But yeah, my options are really limited now. Uh, I'm even thinking of just using blizzards. Ah, that is annoying. Yeah, I need to destroy my onager. Damn it, should have used it first. And then... Yeah, okay. But we do get... We do get the two drummers back that way, which is fine by me. Left, that was a weird turn right. of events, but Left, I'm right. gonna take everything I can get. Move an enemy to the other row and damage it by three. Fair enough. We did put another drummer up front, which is sad, but um, nothing I can handle. Weapon. And then the hush took to boost the charges. Then get Gascon over here. And that's fine for now. And use the Illyrian Art Blasts to deal some damage. Oh, wow. Yeah, half the damage of three adjacent units. And then we get another Fleeter. But Fleeters are damageable like this I'll relieve you of that pouch. there we go then let's use Meeve once ah! and use her to get yeah let's get the war wagon let's get the war wagon out there we go war wagon Can't take it and then we can use the sapper to immediately get rid of of those light infantry units. There we go. And that's a lot of damage spread out. I'm just gonna end the turn. He's gonna pause probably. There we go. Point differences is are big enough, so let's pause. I'm just gonna probably move forward and just uh, kill him off at the end of the next round. See you guys in a second. And there we go, we can end it with our strongest units. So, Egg on the battlefield Prepare destroy to destroy the Fiend. If you've any and then honor. we can use Isbel to deal 61 damage, which will kill everything. And then just end it with Xavier. Let's end up with Xavier. Getting to work. Giving. You can actually give Isbel a charge as well, doesn't really matter. But uh, there we go. Pause. And we gained the upper hand on the Al Ghul. There we go. Oh, wow. That's a fiend corpse. That is interesting. What's this? There's a corpse of an elf over here. From Count Caldwell to Sergeant Glamour Alec. I expect initiative and creativity from my subalterns, not whining about logistical issues or a critical lack of infrastructure. You couldn't find a suitable building to store the collected taxes and find a bloody cave. There are hundreds of them in Angren, and despite what every peasant might say, bloodthirsty monsters do not lurk behind every shrub. Think twice the next time you bother me with these trivial matters. So, thank you for that at least. And we get a fancy border to using Gwent. And nothing in the, nothing in the, the cave, however. I'm just gonna use the little shrine over here to get my morale back. 
while we're at it. And then I think there's one more thing up north. Yeah, there is another battle at the other side of the bridge. So let's check that out. And there seems to be another vampire over here. So let's just face him with all our might. The people of Angren. Rumor has it the North Guardian Empire eradicated nearly all monsters within its borders. If true, Angren must have proved a wholly unpleasant change for the Imperials. At every turn, every trip to relieve oneself in the bushes, a bloodthirsty beast lurks just out of sight. Standard battle, uh, but I think this will be pretty by the book, so... Might as well just uh, skip ahead a bit, right? Ooh, so we're starting off with a fleeting there. And I just wanted to use the war wagon to my advantage. Which I won't be able to do. But here we go. You can try to win them all. That's five. And we can use that straight on the plumets over there. And get at least most of them out of the way. And he destroys, of course, my war wagon. Ten and twelve. Let's start playing some trinkets. I want to see how this works out. So spawn and play two random trinkets. We get whatever that is. Can I cancel that? Because I don't know what it does. It's a red flask. Okay. And then crow's eye. Just does that. Okay. Should have previewed that before using it. Because this was pretty useless. And you get that back. And there we have the fleeting again. The fleeting is going to kill itself in a second. So that is fine. Let's get the Lyrian Lens Connect on the field. The and use me again. To keep boosting my regiment drummer. Let's keep creating trinkets. Don't know what part of us will come really up with. Like give units 8 armor. Heal an ally and strengthen it by 10. And then... Ooh, that armor is actually interesting. But I can't give him another charge, so... Too bad, too bad. Oh, he turned an ally from the battlefield to hand. Let's just heal an ally. And strengthen it by 10. Because the war wagon is gone anyway. So there we go. Okay, okay, okay. Then we can use the... Northern Wind, maybe? You know what, let's start with the Arbalest. Let's just use the Arbalest to damage the Griffin over there and then use the Lyrian Lance Connect to damage the Katakan and now the Katakan and the Griffin. So Arch Griffin and Griffin. Fair enough. So they're boosted again. But with also Thunder we can actually just damage those immensely. And use Meave again to let the rest play out. That drummer is going to be uh, one hell of a beast. And then just use the Lyrian Lance Connect on the... I don't really care. There we go. But what, what have we in our graveyard here? Also Stunder. Damage unit by 10 if it's a 5, boosted by 25. Ah, so that's what Strike does. Spawn and play two random trinkets. We can do that again. It's going to be more effective this time, so let's use that. And spawn through those, and this time I'm going to read it. So that plays... I think that plays... Oh, I can't read it. So that plays two units. I draw two units, but with a power of one. So that is good. Oh, my trouble. My 16 points of trouble. And then that just boosts the unit up to something high. By 10. There we go. End of turn. And he passed, which is good because now we have extra cards in our hands. Passed as well. First round hours. And we'll probably easily win the next one as well, so see you guys in a second. So I don't think the enemy ever stood a chance here because, uh, yeah, they're going down by the bushes. So let's just finish this off with a few of my own devices. Not uh, let's just kill the wyvern outright and just use the forger in the next turn. Forger in the next turn. Yeah, I'm so I'm sorry, man. I'm, ju I'm just gonna. Yeah, I'm just gonna just do that. And yeah, you don't even exist anymore. You, you don't just you're just completely gone. No, no monster exists on the battlefield. So goodbye. 
So yeah, going all out on damage is really the way to go, in, uh, at least in this Angren chapter. So with that done, more loot for us, and probably some more information about this camp that was over here. So let's check that out. From Count Caldwell to Corporal There's way too, too many letters right next to each other. We still lack enough loggers to meet the expectations of our most gracious Emperor, Emir of our Embrace. The white flame dancing on the graves of his foes. May the great sun shine upon him. If they'll not be tempted by coin, a whip will suffice. The boars are squatting like beasts in the woods, but I have no doubt you'll find them. I expect to have two dozen new laborers before the months end. So Caldwell is really enjoying his new role, it feels like. But uh, we're gonna have to stick something up his ass to, uh, yeah, to end his rule here. But with that done, we're gonna take a little break. Next time we'll continue our way towards Tuzla Castle, because we've done most of West Angren at the moment. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope to see you guys in the next episode of Thronebreaker The Witcher Tales. Goodbye. Yeah,